Okay, here is a trick by Harry Lorraine. You can find this trick in the book Close Up Card Magic, uh, which is a classic, classic book, one of Harry's first books. I think it goes back to the 1960s. Um, and this is my handling of an effect from that book. Okay, so uh, the way I do it is I would have the spectator reach into the pack and take out a small batch of cards. Um, I would not know this number. They would then secretly count these cards. So in this case, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have eight cards here. Their secret number is eight. I would then have them put those cards uh, back into the pack and we're gonna lose them into the deck so we don't know exactly how many cards they had. I don't know where their packet would end and where my deck began, so they're just coalesced with the deck, okay? So now that we've got their packet lost in the, in the deck, we're gonna have them select a card using their secret number. So in this case, it was number eight. And again, I would not know that number. I would just ask them to remember the card at their number. So this would be card number one. This is card number two. This would be three. Here's number four. This is five. We've got number six. This would be number seven. Here's card number eight. This is the card they would remember. This is card nine, 10, 11, 12. And I would ask them, have you got a card yet? And of course, they're going to say yes, okay? So now they've selected a random card. It's a thought of card in this case. And I obviously don't know um, where the card is located. Is that your card? No, nope. all right, too bad. All right, uh, just to make sure that everything's mixed up, let's go ahead and give the cards a riffle. Um, not just one riffle, but in fact, let's give it two riffles so we don't know exactly where the card is at. And then we're just gonna deal out some random packets of cards like this. We're just gonna mix them up and you would actually have them roll the dice. We need a random number, a small number, in this case, it's a two and a one. That's a really low number. We'll roll them one more time so you can see that the, the dice are not loaded. And here we have a five and a two, which adds up to seven. Okay, so we would just continue to deal cards out like this, randomly to the packets. Okay, let me get these guys out like this and like that. Okay, and once you have all the cards um, dealt out into random packets, we're now just gonna pick the packets up. Whatever order you would like to do that in, um, it doesn't really matter how we do that. We're just gonna pick them up like this, okay? Um, so now they've selected a card. We, um, they did that with the thought of card, by the way. And we shuffled it, lost them back in, and then they rolled the dice and came up with a random number, which happens to be seven. So all we have to do to find the card is count down to seven, since that's the number that they rolled. So this would be card number one. Um, here's card number two. This is three, four, five, six. And this is number seven. For the first time, what's the name of the card you're thinking of? They're gonna say the five of spades. And there you have it. The five of spades at their number, number seven. Um, that is called the sloppy card trick. You can find it in Harry Lorraine's book, Close Up Card Magic. Um, I believe it's on page 42. I've changed the handling quite a bit, but that's kind of the bare bones of what the effect would look like. So hope you guys liked it. Take care.